my god. <laughs> oh, do you need this stuff so you can have it be on? I Autumn today I am here to do a perfume haul with my pal Amy Hi. <laughs> and she has a channel here on YouTube also it's called Saber Salvage Scent you want to tell us a little bit about it um essentially focuses on all things perfume related and occasional DIY or creative projects mm -hmm. I'll have all of her stuff linked up here if you guys want to check it out <laughs> I'm not used to filming with somebody else okay so anyway especially not this weirdo yeah I bought some stuff and I was just gonna film a haul by myself, but what's more fun is to have somebody else's opinions on the things you bought. So some of these were blind buys. I have not looked in here, although I wanted to. And it's all a surprise. Some of these are things that we've smelled and things that I've wanted. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I for change. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like yeah, when people say that they're being honest, they're not. You're like <laughs> Like since when? If you, you tell me that you're honest, when? you're probably not. Just like if you tell me you're nice, you're probably right. authentic not. Authentic Italian food. Authentic. So I'm just gonna go ahead, reach in, okay. and grab one. And I got these little strips. So here's the first one. I know you've smelled it before. I'm dying. No, I don't know. Wait, did we? Is this one I checked or tried? We sprayed Ansley down with it <laughs> when we went to Sephora. We did. We did. And the Ansley is the fruit of her womb. She is the fruit of her womb. Yes. She's my crotch goblin. Oh my God. <laughs> she loves that one. So we're gonna, do you want me to smell I love their too? perfumes in general. Even if I don't love them for mm -hmm. me, I always feel like I really like this house so much. Mm. So perfect example. I'm gonna be honest, this is not my kind of fragrance. Yeah, it's, for me, it is either, like it. it almost smells like laundry detergent. It does. In a way though that I find tolerable. Okay, so here's the deal. I like it. I would I don't like enough to buy it, but I like it. And while that laundry detergent thing doesn't usually work for me, I think they do it really well. Mm -hmm. It smells really nice. It smells like a good clean body. Yeah, the dry down the in it has sheets. a little bit of um coconut in it. Oh. And when the dry down and the thing is I didn't I like think I was gonna like it. Ooh, I like it when it's drying down a lot. Yeah, it smells way better when it's dried down. Mm, and it just smells good, like clean hair. I got so many compliments on this at work last Did you week. really? I did. And normally, this is like nothing I normally wear. Show them that bottle. Look how pretty the juice is. It's like the it's lightest, blue. prettiest blue. Mm. Which I'll have images Actually, it's really growing on, on me. So I don't know why I don't think this is my kind of fragrance, but I do really like, I would love to smell this on a person for yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the dry really nice. down is better than the initial spray. Mm. The initial spray it's is- chemically. Yeah. This is great, love it. Love it actually, yeah. So then sticking with the same house. <gasps> I love this house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to smell this. What is it? You know what it is. Oh, actually, did we try this? Yeah, we did. Why do I talk about like we're the same human? <laughs> did <laughs> We did, but we were together when we oh. smelled it. And this Why was- Why did I own this? And I had it on my list and this to me reminds <sighs> me because it, it has that coffee note, mm. but it also has lavender. Oh, I love this. It smells, okay, you're not gonna like this because I don't think you like this scent. I'm crazy about it. I, I only know one other human, Hi Richard Kikot, who likes it. Um, covet, it smells like Covet to me. Yeah, well, but that has, coffee, but that has lavender That has yeah. lavender in it, and I think it's the chocolate note that makes me not like Okay, got it. That one. This is so good, and you know what I love about it? And I'm sorry, because I brought this up before. Um, a lot of, Fragrances that say they present coffee do not smell like coffee to me. Like mm -hmm. they're just like enhance something else. This smells like a coffee house with a man. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say man. It could be anybody with somebody wearing a fougere right next yeah. to you. It it's, smells so good. Oh, I love that. It's a nice light coffee scent. That's you know how like some coffee mm. scents have like the hint of cream in them and it makes them feel kind of heavy. Right. This one's really light and with the oh. lavender, it's like sipping coffee mm. out on a patio with like lavender and like a nice it. breeze. Totally. It's super, super light. To me, it reminds me of a less sweet, less feminine version of YSL Libra. Oh yeah, uh, slight differences for sure. But yeah, mm -hmm. I get I get. it's on that way for sure. Love that, wanna own it someday, that's wonderful. Mm, I love that one. What else we got? Okay, so then we're gonna stick with the same houses as we go through. Oh. not That's not the same house, but now we're starting with this house. And, there were some a lot of people love this house, and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. 
because I love them when you buy um, me, the name of it. By the way, this is Clean Reserve Blonde Rose. The other Ooh. ones were more obvious, and I was just planning on putting them on the screen. Um, but I think that our description on these might not be as obvious to tell between each other. Okay. Okay. So we're going to head and spray I don't know this. What the hell you're talking about? But I'm going with it. Okay. Okay. So this was a blind buy because I had some clean. Weird. I had some clean fragrances. I That's really. That's a weird one. Yeah. I always think it's interesting because I've heard that geranium is used to present as rose in perfumes a lot. Mm -hmm. This smells way more like geranium than it does rose. It smells way, it smells very herbal to me. Mm -hmm. And it's growing on me. It might be too herbal for me though. It, it, it reminds me of um, grooming products. Funny you say that because I think this smells very similar to Waze. Uh, which is a hair care brand, but they also have perfumes. It I smells similar yeah. to their Melrose Place, I think is what it's called. Okay. Um, and to me, this also smells like rose-scented, like hand soap that would be in a bathroom, mm -hmm. or yeah. Um, yeah. just rose-scented, like cleaner. And yeah. I hate to say, but it smells yeah very it's, much like cleaner. Yeah, I'm with I, I'm with you. It's a little, and it's not again. I don't think perfume's ever good, bad. It, everybody's different. Everybody can like what they like. Mm -hmm. That leans just a little more in that clean um, herbal direction that I want to go with something all over my body. Yeah, it's it's not my favorite. So mm, I blind bought this one. And Hilarious. I think I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, I don't remember, I know that I told you earlier, that half of these I like and plan on mm. keeping, and the other half I'm immediately just going to be like getting mm. rid of them. Deep sessioning? Yeah, that's one that I don't think I'm going to be keeping. Okay. Boy, the bottle's pretty for what that's worth. So then we have another one. Wow. And this is Cell Santal. Oh, I'm excited about that. I like salty, and, uh, although I don't love, um, what's the perfume that everybody loves? It's vanilla and salt. Oh my gosh, I hate my mouth. Does this have salt in it? Cell? Doesn't it say cell? Okay, yeah, so cell, salt. salt. See? Yeah. Somebody knows words. Desolé <laughs> means I'm sorry and something. So I really like Country sandalwood. Board, yeah, like, I'm Oh. The, mm. Okay, do you have perfume on right now? A little, yeah. But it's like Bath and Body Works is very light. I okay. say that because it's light. Spray this on your skin and let it sit and then we'll visit oh, really? later in the, the video. Because you okay, had mentioned- on paper, I'm loving this. I love it on paper oh, too. Oh shoot, okay. On my body and I on think- On body. On my body, I feel like it, yeah. and maybe because of the salt, it does get like kind of it gets sour acidic. and that like happens. salty to me. Oh, what's the vanilla one that everybody loves? It has salt. It, that does it on my skin too, where I'm like, why? I, I don't doubt that other people have a totally different experience because they love it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it smells rancid on me. Yeah. Like, because on so the, we'll on the strip, does. I think that that smells so fresh and beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Like, unbelievable. And then I was shocked that when I wore it on my skin, like, mm. yeah, like. So maybe that's good cheap spray. <laughs> Yeah, for sheets Sense or maybe just spray. to just spray on clothes, but not my actual body. Oh, yeah, it's got a vinegar. I'm like smelling vinegar on yeah. my skin. Like, that's really unfortunate. Darn it, it really is because it's lovely. <laughs> like, it's so but bad. guess what? Skin chemistry is a thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like, it smell, is that weird to make you smell my yeah, skin? Yeah. Smell it. <laughs> smell the skin. Um, do you get vinegar? I do. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, darn it. Yeah, it, it goes like really. Yeah, I wonder what they use like to make that salty note. I'm not assuming that it's salt. <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know. This is why I smell really smart. I sound really smart. So then this one is just their clean reserve skin. Okay. <laughs> you know, I am so, what's the word? I, I prejudge the word clean on any fragrance. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm not gonna like that. Well, I think you will like this. Okay. Actually, I know for a fact you'll like it. That, those are bold claims. They are. <laughs> oh, I love that. I know, I was. you asked me what oh, I was wearing gorgeous. earlier. That's what I have on today. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So this- Oh, it's so nice. It's like a really light, mm, clean vanilla. There, it's it's like a, like a it little bit of vanilla. It is vanilla, but it's so not your typical vanilla. Oh, uh -uh. it's so nice. It's just like if you're if you just naturally it's, were to is smell good. Is it grassy good. or is it me? It says it's a floral musk. It is musky. Sorry, it mm -hmm. is a little musky. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like that's a musk a lot of people could like. 
Yeah, because I'm not really crazy about musk. Oh. But I think that slight vanilla in it that's not too sweet, it just makes that you... That is so good. It just makes you smell like you just naturally smell like good. Autumn, how much are those bottles? Mm, about a hundred each. Okay. But that's I think sometimes worst. you can find them on sale Gosh, like, through that's different so nice. sellers. Mm, I can't get enough of that. Okay. So this... Yeah, I did ask her what she was wearing earlier, and she was like... Have to talk about it later. Yeah, and I, yeah. Like, so, okay. So, like, this one, mm. I think. Wow, and see, I started, I wanted to start to judge that line as not liking it, and this is a great example of how you gotta smell everyone. I mean, honestly, there are probably most lines I like at least one or two perfumes in. And so, if I would judge that line based on this first two, I'd be like, oh, I don't like it. Guess what? I love this. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. Which I think I gifted you the mm. oud. No, I like, I like you it like a the lot oud. too. Yeah. And then I have the sweet briar one at home, and then I also have uh, the mm. amber saffron. This one just gets better and better too. Yeah, that one's it really gets, nice. I, you it's know why I'm surprised you like this? It when, gets a little powdery actually when it dries down. Yeah, but it, there's like a sweetness to it. It's like mm. it's a like it's so light. But it's natural sweet. It's not yeah. like. It's not like syrup. Anyways, mm -hmm. love that, love that. Which one is that? Uh, clean Reserve Skin, it's the Reserve Gosh, Blend. So they do have- I'm writing that down. Clean does have a skin that's not part of the Reserve okay. Blend that I also own. And it's like a straight up white musk. Okay. What if I wanna say something right now that I know you're gonna have to edit out? That's fine, say it. Can I use the bathroom? Yeah, do it. Okay, I'll be right back, sorry. Got a BM. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> you put that on there. I will literally die. <laughs> I will die. I hate that word so much. <laughs> My mom would be in the car. She'd be like, do you need this stuff so you can have a BM? I'd be like, or just something. Maybe just say, do you need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> what if I start the video out with you looking at me all concerned saying, do you need to stop so you can have a BM? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's next? So... This fragrance, like all over TikTok. Oh, all over TikTok. And I have feelings about it. I think do you I'll, have feelings about it? I, do. I think I'll do an entire video oh, about it. Oh, I know it. it's gonna be just based on the shape of the bottle. Maybe. Actually, I don't think I do. Tell me what you smell. Should I be serious? Yeah. B.O. and peaches. <laughs> no, what do I smell? Do I smell anything or nothing or B.O.? Cigarettes and stale perfume. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, what is it? Do you get something strong? There's nothing on here. Spray some on your skin. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. I have that other one on here. Does that matter? I don't think okay. it's going to make any... Oh, now it's all over you. I get, like, alcohol. I get... You know what this reminds me of? 80s perfume that has faded. It's very alcohol in the beginning. It doesn't smell like a whole lot, but I do. And maybe it's like, <laughs> when I smell B.O., maybe I'm the B.O. Cause like, I don't know. It smells a little peachy. It smells like B.O. peaches and alcohol. And it smells like a bad 80s party. So yeah, it's funny that you mentioned the 80s. So I did do a quick TikTok talking about this after everybody was talking about how mm -hmm. wonderful it was. And they call this missing person because it's, it's supposed like to be nostalgic and remind you of somebody you love. I don't get cigarettes from it. But what I do get is the alcohol. And to me, this smells like if you were downwind from a woman in the 80s and 90s when they did their hair really big and totally. they had all the hairspray. And you know what this smell? It does smell like, it smells like a memory. And for me, it's my being, my parents were good friends with this other family and we used to go there a lot. This smells like their bridge parties in the 80s. Lots of cigarettes, alcohol, hairspray, and you get that in the next room over. I get a little BO too, unfortunately. And in my opinion, so I love Fleur fragrances. When they oh, were Fleur. Okay. when they were in Sorry, Fleur. <laughs> when they were in the white packaging, I loved everything about the brand uh -huh. um, and how they made fragrances. And I could smell a fragrance and know for sure that it was a Fleur fragrance. This smells nothing like any of their other fragrances. It's not the same quality. I'm surprised anybody these days likes it because it, it does so smell like the 80s or 90s. I don't understand it. I even. don't really know for a fact that anybody these days do like it. It's just getting a lot I, of attention. I'm thinking it's the marketing because a lot of these larger TikTokers were smelling at me like, oh my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, they're like, but this I'm is the best surprised thing. even by that. It sold out because of the marketing so okay. quickly. Wow. And um, meanwhile, I don't the, know the quality isn't good. It doesn't last longer than an hour, so don't worry, that'll go away. 
and um, wow, it's like hardly anything. And so like you have to spray a ton of it to be able to smell anything. It's a super light hairspray floral musk. Yeah. And you can you can't really smell like light like like Bath and Body Works is way stronger. Yeah, like a body spray. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's super disappointing because it's like over a hundred dollars. And honestly, it really shows the hype. It shows what what the hype does because no offense, I'm like I don't understand. I just do not get that at all. Yeah. But then of course I'm a person that was raised at that time, and so some of that nostalgia I don't necessarily need or want to smell like again. That's a head scratcher. Yeah, I, it, it's a hundred percent in the marketing that they must have been paying people to hype it up, market yeah, it, totally. and then sell out because then and so they had all these positive reviews at first, and now a lot of people are buying it and they're like, I don't get it. And oh, I don't. Weird. I mean, wow. I don't get it. It does it have peach or apricot? Anyway, who I don't cares? think so. Who cares? Oh my! Oh. I was like, let me check my phone. Sorry, and it's oh. literally. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, there's a cat. Okay. Okay. What's next? <laughs> So this is a, you're still trying to, which? I'm in love with that clean skin. Right? Yeah. Like in love with it. That is. Like that could be a signature scent. It's so good. I think it's. Who can wear that? It's gorgeous. If I had like a top 10 fragrances, that would be my top 10. Oh. Um, okay, I'm totally intrigued. Oh, I've wondered about this. I actually haven't, I've been totally intrigued. I love a tacky cute bottle. I really do. Okay. I'm mm. more like a, so I kind of prefer like a pot carry style. Yeah, yeah. So very, this ain't your jam? The, the bottle's this not looks, my jam. This looks like Betsy Johnson to me or something. But I Escada. did, yeah, it's the Escada. This was a limited edition. Okay. They had some scents that came out for Valentine's Day in uh, 2021. That better smell like a piece of candy. Uh-oh. I can just see in your face. It's a disappointment. So I wore it the other day. Oh, it's an upside downer. That's kind of yeah. cute. And... How much does this retail for on what? this bottle? The, this, this, no, no, sorry. That this one? one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I got this at TJ Maxx. Oh, did you really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, I can already tell I like that. Do you? Mm -hmm. Is that Havana's? I don't know why. Okay, so I don't know why. Because I started, okay, this is not, I hope this doesn't sound strange. I started with really complex perfumes because of the age I grew up in. So mm -hmm. there were just really complex perfume perfumey perfumes I'm surprised that I also really love some of these really simple candy ones yeah this doesn't have very many notes in it um I it smells like gummy bears this does not smell like hard candy or like caramel it smells like gummy bears I originally liked the way it smelled when I first sprayed it and then I wore it on my skin and this is acidic. also one that goes very sour it's even doing that on the paper and so it does not wear well but Darn it. this has um, an apple in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I believe whipped cream and oh. vanilla. And hmm. I think a little bit of like musk. I get gummy bears hardcore, but yeah. I am getting that almost too sour for me. Like, yeah. And the thing is, I don't want to smell sour and people be like, well, oh, she's just wearing a sour perfume. <laughs> like, and that's the thing is what, uh, and maybe this is just uh, me and my aunts, and I might be giving too much information here. But we refer to like if, you know, it's a hot day and your vagina starts to smell. We call it the sour kitty. No, you do not. <laughs> yeah. And so I don't want to smell sour. Like, and you're like, I need no help with the sour kitty. Yeah, I do not want the sour kitty. What? So yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. So I was thinking I would like it. I liked it. it in the beginning, but it is a little sour, and like that's not. I don't. Yeah, and I was thinking too many good perfumes in the world. Sorry. I was thinking I would like it Darn, based off of the so notes. Cute. I wanted to love it. And it was a good price at TJ Maxx. And this then, again smells like Bath and Body. This smells like it should cost seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. I like some Bath and Body Works a lot. So not the best. Okay. They have some different Shucks. iterations of this. It's really too. cute though, for what that's worth. But yeah, and it like sits, it stands this way. That's cute. But that's cute. But as I've said before, if you have a great fragrance and it's a beautiful bottle, then you really love it. If it's, it doesn't matter what the bottle's like. If yeah. The, if the fragrance is good, it really does not matter. So darn it, that bottle can be as cute as it wants. So at the on the same TJ Maxx trip, I'm gonna try this. This one? I kind of cleanse. I've been wondering about it. Oh really? Yeah, I've been wondering. Okay, so I have feelings about this one too. This is another one where it's like, I love the house, but I don't know that I'm gonna love this based on the no anyways. I'm, mm -hmm. This is what. This is Philosophy Pure Grace Tropical Summer. I've been into weird like pineapple and stuff lately. I don't know. Why. 
Okay. I don't know what's happening. This is way clean instead. I thought it was gonna be when, this isn't good. When I hear tropical, the first thing I hear because it's been shoved down our throats is pineapple, coconut. Mm -hmm. This is more palmy. I get like green palm. And I also get herbs. And anyways, it's not what I thought it would be. I kind of like it. What's it like on your skin? On my skin, um, this is the one I was telling you that goes screechy. Oh, too bad. It fades down. At first you get like a punch of fruit and it's like, oh my gosh, this is tropical. This is great. And then it's like, if you I were- don't get fruit at all. Oh, really? Mm -mm, not even a bit. Oh. So I mean, I get green leaves. I don't get, I get palm. Yeah. I don't ever get fruit. That's weird. I get the, I get the fruit and then it dries down to smell like dryer sheets. It like, does smell like dryer sheets. If you were to have, like, you know how they like make all the, like the fun spring dryer sheets and stuff and they have like the ones that are like lavender and mm -hmm. then they have like all the different smells now. Mm -hmm. If you were to try to get like tropical dryer sheets. Cabana. Like that's what this yeah. is. Like, this smells like, um, oh, I'm so, this sounds so mean, but we like what we like and we don't. This smells like Axe body spray or something. It, it, I don't. It's yeah. too bad. It smelled really interesting in the beginning, partly because I think my brain was like, oh, that's not what you were expecting. But it doesn't get any better. It gets worse when it dries. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and that's the way it is on the skin, too. Like, I literally wanted to go take a shower after about Darn an it, hour I wearing that. it. I used to think people were being so dramatic when they'd be like, that's a scrubber. But I've, and I've experienced a few scrubbers <laughs> now. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get that off of my skin. Okay. This is fun. So this is super fun. The rest of these. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna give you my opinions on them yet. Okay, but, don't. Okay. Okay. So this is how do you say this? Because you use. I don't know, Bordeaux. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I would assume it'd be Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I don't know. But it's ooh, look at that bottle. Ooh, it's all Show the people the bottle. That's beautiful. I'll have visuals on the screen because I'm so far Gorgeous. back. I don't know that they can see them, and I can't. Oh, sorry. See them. I'm used to. Yeah, yeah. I'm used to old world. Yeah. Okay. So. Wow. How did you learn about this? This brand? Yeah. They make one that's uh, Assam of India, I believe, also, that's like okay. a tea scent. Ooh. And I really, really, really love that tea scent. Okay. Um, and then so Never I, heard of I like Oud as well. So I was like, okay, well, let oh, me wow. go ahead and try this out. I love or hate Oud, so I'm really excited. I just love to see brands I've never heard about and that everybody's talking about. Whoa, man. It's Oud. It's interesting. It's, um, I like it. You know what I get from this too? Hmm. Does it have patchouli? I like the dryness. So <laughs> this has something in it, whatever. Okay. Is in Tom Ford's Sahara Noir, which is one of my favorite hmm. scents, R.I.P. It also has something that's in, um, I feel like Musk Ravageur. Um, there's this, however, maybe it's the way that Oud is used or interpreted. It's literally dry. It makes me go, it's like, it's like tannic to, almost. Yeah, like, to me it's like a dry mm. oud that's almost like vetiver. Yeah, like, no, agree. Mm -hmm. It's got that hay like, or like, yeah. it literally makes me thirsty. Mm -hmm. But I think this is, I like wearing that Tom Ford in really sweaty, like nasty uh, days, summer mm -hmm. days. And I actually think this could be really, it really does smell how I would imagine desert air to smell. Yeah. It's, it's cool, do you like it? Okay, yeah. I'm saying all, all this stuff and you might be like, I hate so it. So I like it and I, Mm. went through a phase of really loving ouds and I think that mm. and I say oud or oud different almost every I'm time sure I say it I because know. I never really know yeah, so yeah. like I'm sure one of them is right yeah perfect <laughs> so mm -hmm. I mm. I don't that gets better too yeah this is super dry it has no sweetness to it whatsoever no it it, it literally reminds me of a plate like it smells like hot environments I've been in. Like it smells dry. And a lot desert. of times I like the woods also that have like a slight sweetness to them that almost smells like incense or yeah. something like that. And this doesn't have that either. Mm -mm. It's just dry. No, it's not that, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Um, pasty like resin. It's not that mm -hmm. either. But it does have the smell to me of incense smoke. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I don't, there's something in the beginning when you first spray it that I'm like, I don't know, and then I love it. It reminds me a lot of Sahara Noir. This would be one that I would wear, because I always categorize like what time of year, like what occasion I would wear something for. 
I would wear this mm. as summer turns into fall. Oh, perfect. Dry, it smells like dry leaves, so it kind of even. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I love that too, just because I'm always excited to find a scent that not everybody's wearing, because it's like, you're not going to smell like everybody else either. Yeah. It's really nice. Ooh, that's so good. I can't imagine. I think that would be great on anyone too, like. Yeah. Male, female, whatever. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, let's see here. Love those two. Love that and the clean skin. Ooh, that clean skin one just smells so. I'm gonna say it, and then you can say it. I'm gonna say Lombre de Mar Marbe. Marbe. Is that Marbe. right? Yeah, Lombre de Marbe. Okay. The amber of the Marbe. Where th that is that? That's a place, right? Sorry, I'm really ignorant. Clearly. Okay. So have, you've smelled the orange ones. Before, yeah, right? I love and, honestly, and, and it's funny. I don't know why I've never bought these because like they're so my bag. This, yeah, uh, all of them I do like. So I really like the orange ones. I have both the EDT and the EDT. Did one go out of commission? I don't know. Oh. This has a note of tea. So now it's this, oh. like the orange ones, and then it has oh, it a lightness. It like smells again to me. Are you getting yeah. anise, or is it just me I, wanting I think it? a little bit, but I think it's actually it's tea. the amber itself, like how deep mm. the amber goes, how it's kind of creamy, so it kind of gives it that anise smell. But um, that is so good. This is like I wear the orange ones in the winter because they're heavier. Can I see the name again? Yeah. And then this. And what a, look at this bottle. Oh, it's so pretty. That feels okay. I'm weird about. I love a bottle that feels nice in your hand. Mm -hmm. Like that feels so nice. Um, and that orange against that that orange font against that blue bottle. Come on. Yeah, isn't it so pretty? good? Oh, that's gorgeous. It, yeah. You know what it smells like a little bit to me? Uzo. Oh, uh, anise liqueur. It's like a Greek liquor. Oh, okay. And it has a little bit of anise, or is it anise? Anyways, that is so nice. Oh, that smells. I would just love to hug anybody wearing that. Yeah. So I picked this up at TJ Maxx. What? And I mean, it's a small bottle, and it was like still like sixty dollars. Yeah. Um, but Hermes, mm -hmm. gorgeous stuff. It's always gonna smell nice. I mean, that is. Gorgeous. Yeah, it smells really good. And guess what? There are a lot of two hundred dollar bottles in the market that smell way worse. Yeah, that's so th that's fabulous. like one of my favorites out that's of gorgeous. the stuff I purchased. God, I love that. Okay, missing person is literally gone. It's missing. Oh my God, no! <laughs> so this is the thing, and this is you're so good because like you really. I was just saying earlier, Autumn is a person that really thinks for herself, which is like yeah. one of my favorite traits in a human. Um, you could have a hundred people in a room that are like, I don't like that. And you'd be like, I like it, you know, or what, mm -hmm. like you are yourself. <sighs> I just hate the hype. Perfume's getting, but yet I'm I super was, intrigued I was well. thinking about spraying it in here, not even letting you see the that bottle That is the first. ugliest bottle I've ever seen in my life. I hate Sorry. the bottle. Feel it, how clunky and cheap and plasticky it feels. I mean, I just, and also like, and I, I don't hate all things Kardashian. I don't, I actually like it's the It's not Kardashian. Wish. No, I know. I, I, but I was just going to say. It reminds me of those tacky card of the body one. Which, where I'm well, just like, which why? They tore that off of it was it Jean Paul Gaultier? Yeah, yeah. totally it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like totally mocking the, the the what is it? Um the original perfume and mm -hmm. Lamal and everything else. Okay. Um I mean I like her. I just don't get anyways. Oh. And it's hard to hold. But I'm really like, yeah, why? So should I can't even put her it? boobs in my should hand I, and hold it right, that way? Or should not? I turn okay. the nozzle this way? Okay, I think Boobs out. Boobs out. That's the best way to spray it. <laughs> I'm so intrigued though. I am really interested to smell it. But I also feel like, does there need to be another vanilla made by a celebrity in the world? We'll find out. Oh, I like it. It's really nice. So here's the thing. Sometimes simple is great. This is to me a perfect vanilla. Now it smells like it should cost $19.99. Mm-hmm. But it's really a nice, it's the most middle vanilla. And what I mean is yeah. it's not so gourmand. It makes me crazy. It's not also all resin. It's kind of just like, this could be a really great layering agent. I actually think this is a great yeah. layering agent. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Who made it for her? I don't know. Look at you coming with your nose. No, I'm, 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 I'm just interested because, of course, she had to work with a nose. And I'm, and yeah, I'm obviously. Curious. Um, it's probably I, It'll be here I on the screen. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then last one, and I think you're gonna be surprised that I bought this. Wow, this is fun. This is really fun. Thanks for doing this. Mm -hmm. 
you know what I mean? Is it, is it, it, it looks like Aromatics Elixir, but it's not, but it's in that style. Is it like Estee Lauder Knowing or something? This mm -hmm. is Estee Lauder, yes. and this is a uh, private collection. Oh, I'm excited to try this. The original one, because I know that they came out with some others like after. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I believe originally this was a scent just for Estee Lauder herself. She wore it before and she had it made specifically for her and they did not market it to anybody else. And then wow. Grace Kelly, I believe, smelled it on her and wanted a bottle. And wow. so she made a bottle for Grace Kelly. And then a little bit after that, then they marketed it to everybody. Okay. So then I was really curious about it after that. I was like, well, it's, you know. Oh, I'm so, I love it. Okay, this selection is so you too in that like you just try, I love that you're like so open. I'm so intrigued. Now, if missing person was a bad interpretation that last five minutes of an 80s or 90s party, I want this to really smell like mm -hmm. an 80s party. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's really green. Is that a Lang Lang? What is that? I believe. Oh, we're like hyacinth. Oh, it's so like spring spring floral. Yeah, yeah. It's super, it's a oh, super green. And it's almost too much, but not exactly. It's yeah. great. It's like you, wow. at first it's too much and then you kind of like lean away, but you're like, but I want to smell it some more. Oh. It's super and then it dries down and it's it does smell vintage for real. Mm -hmm. Like I think it does. It does, but not in like the weird, like mm. I don't want to say weird, but like not in a heavy oak mossy way. Not like just a lot in, of them. Right, not just in that ambery way mm -hmm. either. It's like oh, it's such good floral though. It's like so spring. I mean, you can really pick up those spring flower. It smells like a garden. And I believe they've now discontinued this. Oh wow. That's a beautiful bottle too. And well, they changed the bottle for a while. They had mm. a uh like a special gardenia version, they had all the versions. Oh. Um, like wow. multiple versions of this, and then I, I think it might be discontinued Is now. Is it considered a, a sheep? I wasn't sure hmm. because I don't know that it has oak moss or right. a lot of oak yeah. moss in it. Wow, that's so interesting. That definitely smells like a really rich lady from my childhood. Yeah, and I actually really like it because it's such a crisp. Yeah. Green. You know what it reminds me of a little? Have you ever smelled Dorisimo? Um. It feels like they're aunties or sisters or cousins. Or no, something. it to me it reminds me of. Not know that it doesn't smell like that. Know that I haven't smelled it. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> um, to me, it reminds me. Fight in Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of Clinique Calyx. Yep. Only yeah. Only without a the more Calyx big. has a very like um, creamy dewiness to it, uh -huh. and this doesn't have that creamy or dewiness. Great fruitiness. Yeah, yeah. Because I think this smells a lot like Dorisimo to me. Actually. Yeah, I think that Calyx also has like guava in it as well. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. So this doesn't have that, but it's like a less sweet, less creamy version of Calyx. I don't know if it's Lily of the Valley. There's there's a spring flower that's so prominent in this too. It's I can't remember. I can't. Sorry, I came unprepared. Like, that's so cool. No, I love it because this is how you get automatic reactions too. That was so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what are the ones that you absolutely like would buy again or think that you'll get a second bottle of? So this one. Clean, that's the clean yep, reserve, skin reserve oh, brand. I love that. That is so coffee good. break. Oh, coffee break is so good. Um, if you're asking me if I would buy them again, it's only or these, sorry. Okay. it's only these two. If yeah. I would like go Those out and fabulous. I would buy the, like that, I think I would actually okay. get through the bottle. Oh, actually, no, and this one. Mm. So these are the three that I think are the top three. And then if the ones Those are fabulous, the ones that I'm not planning that I just don't think I'll declutter mm -hmm. would be the Estee Lauder added mm -hmm. in and the Ode. this one and wow. this one and then the rest yeah. of them actually I'm not going to declutter bubble bath either but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'm about half so pretty, because so these one two three four five these five man you weren't kidding five and five well, or six seven seven well yeah. seven and five yeah yeah so yeah about half I'm getting rid of amazing it's actually not, I mean, not bad for. Not the best for like if. Although the clean ones were pricey. Yeah. Wow. It's this fine. is exciting though. I love that honestly, with the exception of the Billie Eilish, I've not heard anybody talk about these. So I mean, well, and clean and sorry, and um, coffee break, a lot of people loved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh, they're so good. Yeah. If I had to pick favorites. Yeah. Ooh, that's tough. I would say. This one, just because it's my jam, the um, the uh, Hermes, because mm -hmm. there's just this anise like smell to me that I just love and smells like home. Um, coffee break, I love. It's a perfect gourmand because it's not too sweet and it really does smell like coffee. But I have to say, this Skin Reserve blend is like nothing in my collection. It's so cool. Yeah. For that. It's just so beautiful. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. 
They're all great though. I love them all. Those were great. So we're pretty much on the same page as yeah, well. Yeah, totally. Like, no, yeah. it's like. Which is weird because we have completely different tastes. We do. But there are just some things that are too likable not to like. You know what I mean? There, yeah. are, there are reasons that certain bottles of perfume are popular over years, blah, blah, blah. But I love this because honestly, most I have not heard many people talk about most of these. Gosh, that's so good. Yeah, I love those. I love the orange ones. And now I'm like wanting, I think they might have a few other iterations that I'm kind of curious to try. I know the sickness starts. But, You're like, oh, if I like these two, maybe I like the other seven. But I'm trying one. to, yeah, I'm trying to cut back. Right. So we'll see. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and do that. And make sure that you check out Amy's channel as well. I'll have all of her information below, as well as in somewhere up here in the eye throughout the video. So we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Gravel road I'm filled with promises Truth is hard to bear sometimes I'm told Hope builds up as we grow old